I'm not sure if you have noticed, but I'm different. Not in the sense that I'm insane and probably need to be psychoanalyzed, but in the sense that my face doesn't have that generic look usually employed to portray the leading man or even the everyday man. And if you listen really closely, you can actually realize that I have a slight accent. It's very subtle, but it's there. Sadly, this is something that hinders my success in the entertainment industry. I mean, I could work on getting rid of my accent, but there's just nothing I can do about my face. I Except for plastic surgery and I would obviously use it to look more like George Clooney and Ryan Gosling had a baby. But I have neither the money nor the wish to change this face. Except for maybe the acne. Like seriously buddy, I'm 23, can you stop it? <laughs> you might not see it because I use the light to hide my imperfections. I'm so Hollywood. Now, to be fair, it is getting better. More TV shows and movies are starting to include more Latinos and more black people than Asians and more women are getting their own shows. It's all great. But there is this very narrow-minded mindset in the industry that only certain people can play certain roles and that if you have a certain sound or a certain look, you're destined to play a very limited range of roles. It made sense before when the world was more divided and people were seen at a distance as stereotypes Stereotypes, but now we live in a fully connected world where we know that each person has their own identity and people from all of the races and all walks of life just want to be entertained and represented. Why can't a black guy be the last survivor in a horror movie? Why can't a very good looking Asian man have as a best friend a very silly and animated Russian guy? Why can't a short guy with a Hispanic accent be the one who's saving the world from dinosaurs or aliens or super villains or your mom, I don't know, from something. Why can't that guy who could be anybody, not specifically me, be the heartthrob in a romantic comedy? Why am I, I mean, why is that guy limited to roles for short guys with foreign accents? Some people lead successful careers playing just those roles and that's great, good for them, but I refuse to accept that reality. Yes, yeah, some people are taking a risk here and there, but mostly that's independent movies and even many independent filmmakers have that mindset that they have to create movies that look and feel like Hollywood movies. I went to a seminar with an actor that tells you what type of look you have and what type of roles you'll get with that look. I got drug dealers, thug, stoner friend, and background actor. And I can't even be mad because that's what casting directors see when they see me. I was recently casted as the lead in a project that required Spanish speakers and they really loved my work. They kept giving me compliments, saying how much they loved my performance and saying that they've never had any actor before that was as well prepared for a role as I was. Then on the last day of shooting, I overheard a conversation between the director and the producer. The director was talking about how much he loved this experience of working with actors who were so well prepared for a project. And then, then he joked saying, from now on, I'm only gonna do projects in Spanish. It was said jokingly, but there was that truth behind it. That no matter how well I did, that no matter how well all the other Hispanic actors did, he could only picture us playing roles specifically designed for Hispanic actors. Also, hashtag humble brag, hashtag I just lost any cool points I may have had for using hashtags in real life speech, hashtag I get confused when I try to read long hashtags. But that's what I have at the moment, just trying to get more acting work only to hear, mm, you're so good, we love it, but you don't exactly have the look we have in mind. And, you know, just with the hope that a good director will have the guts to take a risk on me. Because I do know that it is a risk. And of course, I have to create my own projects. Because it's very clear that if I'm gonna reach my dreams, I have to pave my own way. There is no road where I'm allowed to walk on for where I wanna go. And there's nobody who's gonna pave the road for me. But as viewers and consumers of content, you can help me pour that cement by supporting projects that are rich in diversity and projects that take those risks in those different actors. Studio heads and suits like to pretend like they have the power, but in reality, you do. You decide what's popular, and whatever is popular, more of it is made. I know that this is not a very funny video, but 
It is an issue that's very important to me. And I do believe we can change this. And once we've built this amazing road together, we'll look back at this video as part of a legacy. Hashtag, this was originally gonna be a tweet, but it didn't fit into the 140 character limit. Hashtag, free the nipple. I don't really have anything else to add. If you're new to this channel, please check out my other videos and my other channels. I have casted myself in every video as a short Colombian guy with a Hispanic accent because I'm a hypocrite. Thank you very much for watching this video. Share it if you like sharing things and also subscribe because supposedly that helps me. But now I gotta go audition for thug number two. See you later. Crocodile. <laughs>